Um, in Burundi, there's a lot of people are raising a concern. They've seen and published a letter uh, of where the, the DPKO is, is reimbursing the government for its peacekeepers, but there seems to have been a change of, of payee. It used to be paid to the Burundian National Bank, and now it's being paid to a bank in Paris. And maybe either you know referring to, to these Panama Papers or to other things, they're wondering what due diligence does the UN do when a government submits a change of bank to be paid, and, and how common is it for a country to have its peacekeeper uh, funds paid to, to, to a bank in another country? I don't know. Uh, I don't have access to the, de the banking details of, uh, of member states, but I do know that you know if uh, we receive information from a permanent mission, uh, then I assume, and, and the bank uh, appears to be legitimate, I assume, uh, I assume we pay, and we would also expect that uh, that the money for these people, that is in the intended recipients of the money, uh, the peacekeepers also receive it. I'm just wondering if there are any kind of like, I mean, if they, if they said wire it to the Cayman Islands, I, would you I, do don't, that? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Matt. Okay, 